Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Magneti, and today we're going to take a look at the top 5 mods that you need to have for Satisfactory. These are my personal favorite mods, and I'm going to give you a little bit of info about them, and why I like them, and why I think you need them. If you need any help along the way on how to install these mods, I have a video on how to install Satisfactory mods that you can watch. Just click on the card in the top right corner, head over there if you find any mods that you want to install, and you can watch that short video on how to install mods for Satisfactory. And the first mod that I'm going to show you is called Smart Foundations, and right now it is my current favorite mod. And what it does for me at least is it mainly helps me build stuff at, in mass amounts like this here. And there's all kinds of different things you can do with the foundations. There's seven actions. And actually there's a little bit more now because they just updated the mod. I believe there's eight actions that you can do. But um, the eighth one that I will, I will mention now because I will forget if I don't say it now is if you hold P and then scroll your mouse wheel, it'll add spacing between the structures you're trying to build just like that now there's also uh, widening or lengthening which is done by alt and shift just like that and you can step it up or down by holding u and that'll do give me one second to back up that'll just do this here so it'll make it you can make these foundations into something similar like stairs like this uh, you can also step it down so let me get to the side here so just like that and then you can also twirl it by using T let me reset this just like this and then twirling I don't know why it's called twirling but it kind of just gives that diagonal let me come to the side kind of gives it that diagonal cross sort of idea um, like a bridge almost and you can elevate it by holding E just like this which I uh, I personally don't really understand this whole bit um, because it leaves that one piece of foundation behind but if you're trying to I suppose like set a ceiling like right here if I was to try and make this ceiling here for this floor I guess it would kind of make sense if you wanted to do that and the final action is uh, H, which I have already done here, uh, it just kind of holds what you're building in place so I can look all around here, blah dee blah blah, but it's still right here. Um, now if you look away to a spot that it you can't place anything in, it will disappear, but as long as you're looking at an area that you can place the object at, it'll be good. Just like that. Now Smart Foundations works on ramps, walls, conveyor poles, pipe supports, hypertube supports, um, there's no item for you to carry, it's just built into this little constructor tool right here, I don't have to carry anything specific. It is also supported in multiplayer. I'm not so sure how the Smart Foundations works with the stack stackable conveyor poles, pipe supports, and hypertube supports. Um, they do have a video on the mod itself that you could watch and that might explain it. I haven't watched it, but um, I, I'm, I'm not unfortunately too knowledgeable in how the stackable portion works. Doesn't really make sense to me. But moving on to the next mod, which is going to be Area Actions. And this one, uh, I've, I've kind of been using less because of Smart Foundations. My main use, my personal main use for Area Actions was to build stuff like this. This huge space of foundations and this is just my creative world area actions can do things like making large bases like this it can make it so much easier uh, it has a very cool copy and paste feature so if i wanted to take this whole building right here i could just go let me enable fly mode oops now that was uh, another mod i'll be covering in this video you can also enable fly mode with the area actions equipped just go like this well i can't do it here but just click on that, it'll say enable flying. And the flying controls are space to go up, alt to go down, and shift to go faster. Now if I wanted to copy and paste this building, I would have to go counterclockwise. So from there to boop, right there. And here. And right here. 
and then I can just copy paste so then you just hide this and if I wanted to paste it I don't know right here paste a location okay that was kind of rude why is it not working oh there it is okay so I personally don't use the copy and paste um, I don't I don't I don't I don't do that usually I usually just take the offset and rotation and adjust it by that I find that a little easier so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and so if we go here copy and paste click on that click hide it'll show you right in the center here it'll give you this um, X Y and Z coordinate and uh, double Z for rotation so say I wanted to rotate this um, 90 degrees would be that way 90 degrees so I would want to rotate it negative 90 degrees for example I would do so okay so if I wanted the front of this building to be over there and also copy and paste it I would want to rotate it negative 90 degrees and move it over negative um, I don't exactly remember how many uh, points one foundation block is but I will figure that out in just a second Oh, and as well, if you you should probably cl uh, set the top and bottom so that you don't copy and paste something you don't want to do. Okay, so place and remove corners now, just like that. So if you didn't see that, I just went into here and I clicked on set or clear bottom. And then I uh, made sure I went down here so I was below the top I had already set and I clicked my bottom. And then if you uh, did it the same way I did, where you did the top first, you just, same idea, click the top, make sure you're not below the bottom, if you did the bottom first, otherwise it won't work. And then just click the top of where you want to go, and then place and remove corners. Okay, so each foundation is nine points in the X, Y, and Z offset. So if we go to negative, uh, or excuse me, regular 4.5 from 3.5, that adjusts it right to the edge. And it might even be, so if you want to measure it out, for example, we have, we've got six foundations here. Six times nine is, all right, what do we got here? Six times nine is 54. So if we take this by 54, rotate it by a negative 90 yet again. Make sure you're always paying attention to this adjustment here, the X, Y, and Z coordinate. And the X will have to be 4.5 again. Preview. Perfect. Almost. Okay, and this is why I like Smart Foundations better because it's just easier. Now, Area Actions definitely has uh, other benefits that you can use. So, for example, we can fill, if we have a large amount or a large area of constructors or assemblers or any type of construction of any type, you can select them just like this. And then you can go to Set Recipe and you can change the recipe. For example, I will change it to silica because I just want to produce silica here. So now, if you give it one second... This was producing quartz crystals. Let's just go in here, and now you can see that it's doing silica. Now, I could do the same thing over here for steel, but I'm not going to do that because I just did it. You can also clear the inventory of anything in there, in, that, in your little selection. You can select the entire map if for some reason you just want to delete your whole map. Or you can select a building. That there's this this thing is this gets pretty crazy. You can just go into the you can just go into the area actions and if um, I don't know everything that this mod does. I will be doing in-depth reviews on all of the five mods that I'm looking at in this video. You can also do mass dismantle. So if you wanted to select the whole map and mass dismantle, there you go. Boom, you can do it. And you can just click clear to clear your selection. Pretty simple. If you want more content like this, go ahead and just click subscribe and click that bell so you can get a notification when I upload every Monday so I can continue making great videos for you. Moving on to the next mod, we have the Pack Utility mod, which 
it basically just adds a buttload of console commands to the game and you can see the list right here and it adds about 12 or 15 or so console commands uh, things like fly or creative or creative power or no clip heal god mode uh, you can give yourself items stuff like that uh, I personally use this for flying mainly for my YouTube videos just kind of like I'm doing right now so I'll just push enter and then type fly and now I'll fall and then just type it again you can also change the speed so if you want to fly slow you can fly slow and it flies you slow you can fly medium okay if I could figure myself out you can fly medium and f okay and fast and then insane which uh, I'm not even gonna move because I don't want to crash my game because okay yeah that was just me barely tapping it uh, you can also hold shift at each of those modes to adjust even more how fast you go I'm gonna change this back to medium now moving on to the next mod we have perma day which is a mod that it's kind of obvious makes it permanently daytime but you can adjust the time of day how long the nights and days cycles are and you can permanently make it nighttime if you wanted uh, it's a very useful mod i use it for my youtube videos so that it doesn't change the time of day and it's always nice and bright outside it's also a very simple mod because you just install it and you're good to go whereas the other mods that we've been talking about you kind of need to read into how to use them a little bit to be able to use them uh more betterly yes i know more betterly is not a thing but i said it anyways now, moving on to my most recent install, and probably one of my most favorites because of my current playthrough that I'm doing, and the factory I'm building, I'm going to have these big statues, which is the name of the mod, surrounding my new factory that I'm building in my new playthrough, and I think it's going to look really cool. Anyways, this mod literally just multiplies the size of the statues by 15 times, and it makes it so that you can... Cr uh, build them from the build menu but it still costs tickets now it doesn't make the cost of them any different it just makes them really freaking big now you still have access to the regular size trophies statues whatever you want to call them i don't believe i have let me make an awesome shop real quick i will show you that you still have access to the statues just like this and then so if I wanted to buy that oops go to my cart next time cart buy cool now if I go like this I actually don't really know how the statues work but yeah there you go there now you can see the comparison it is exactly 15 15 times bigger now in order to be able to build these you have to go into the hub which um, I haven't build the hub yet because this is my creative map and I don't care you have to go into the hub into tier 3 and you have to unlock it with 50 coupons that's kind of a lot kind of not really I mean it's whatever all right well that pretty much concludes my top 5 mod review in conclusion my personal favorite is the smart foundations because it's just fucking amazing and you can go on for infinity and do whatever you want with it and i'm about to crash my game so let's maybe stop doing this i don't want to kill my game we'll we'll just build a couple foundations here and i really like the amount of cement that just comes out of your freaking body so that's my favorite mod let me know if it's your favorite mod as well down in the comments below and if you found a mod that you want to install from this top five list go ahead and subscribe because i'm going to be making more content like this and uploading in-depth reviews of these mods and that's it i'll see you in the next one Peace. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck balls. <laughs> but fuck, man, why do I always do that? What was I saying now? <laughs>